Good morning everyone. Welcome to Max Extreme Fishing Outdoors. Today we're going to place the transom in my 12 foot John boat. Now we're going to do the inside part. It's wood. Now I replaced the outside and inside about 15 years ago. I'll post a link to that down in the description where I did a write up on the blog. Um, the outside doesn't need replacing because I did aluminum and plastic on that instead of wood. The inside I laminated some ash to some plywood. Part of that's gotten rotten and I don't know how that got rotted because I leave the boat flipped upside down. It doesn't have leaks. But anyway, somehow water got in there, rotted part of it. I had it painted. I don't think I sealed it with epoxy resin. So we're gonna do that this time. I'm gonna show you the products I use as we go along. Now this is gonna take several afternoons after work because weekends are reserved for fishing, of course. Um, but anyway, let's get started on it. It's gonna be a fun project. We're gonna use cypress wood lamp ball cypress which doesn't rot or is very hard to rot i'm going to laminate it to plywood but anyway let's start taking this stuff out you may see me in different shirts like i said because i'm going to do this after work several days in a row so anyway let's get busy let's get started and let's get this bad boy back on the water Woo! okay guys you can see it rotted right here and like I said, the boat stays flipped upside down, three feet off the ground. Somehow water got up in here. Uh, but anyway, this wood's still good. I can still use it, but I'm gonna go in and replace it. Here's the back part, this aluminum. Doesn't need replacing. That's gonna last, obviously, a lifetime right there. We gotta get busy and get these screws out. In the last transfer replacement I did on this one, about 15 years ago, I drilled the rivets out, so this is gonna be easier. So let's get busy and get these screws out and get this wood out. And get that off later. Now all these bolts I'm gonna put in a bucket so I don't lose them. Okay guys, I forgot I got six screws under this lip I've got to take out as well. So let's get busy on those. Guys, this lip that holds the bottom edge of the wood, it's like an L-shaped thing. I guess I 3 m epoxied it to the boat. It is stuck, so I'm going to have to work it loose. Got it off, guys. Woo. That was tough. All right, guys. The toughest part was getting this bottom plate off because of the 3M epoxy. I used to seal the holes. Really had that thing just tied on there, which is good. Don't get me wrong, that's good. All right, guys, I got it out. You see, it's pretty extensive rot in the top. Down at the bottom, it's not so bad. I can still use it as a template because this side is good. So anyway, all is good. I'm gonna take this transom outside piece off, put the screws with it. You don't need to see that. And then I'll trace this out and cut the boards out. Okay, guys, this is my back plate. I did have to take it off. It's 3 16th aluminum, and that is a plastic cutting board from Bed Bath & Beyond. Probably the only time I've ever been to Bed Bath & Beyond. 
Anyway, I'm gonna take this scraper, scrape some of this 3M sealant off. Got that looking pretty clean. Then I'm gonna have to do it. Then I'm gonna have to do it here. But anyway, I'm gonna scrape this good, get it all clean, get the back clean. Um, then we're gonna cut the wood and hopefully we'll have this done in a day or two, just doing it after work. Okay guys, my cypress isn't gonna work out. It's not as tall as I thought it was. It's a half inch, too short being tall. I need it five and three quarter inches tall and it was only like five and a quarter. So anyway, I'm going with all plywood, exterior grade plywood. Really doesn't matter what kind of wood you lose as long as you seal it good with the epoxy resin. So I'm going with three quarter inch exterior plywood, non-treated, don't use treated, and a quarter plywood because I needed an inch thick. So I'm gonna laminate them together, but let's get busy. I'm gonna trace the old one out on this, then we're gonna cut it out, glue the two together, seal it with resin, then put it in the boat. Now I'm gonna put it in the boat initially and I'm gonna put the lip that holds it up under it and I'm gonna drill the holes, take it back out and I'm gonna seal those holes too with the epoxy resin. Anyway, let's get busy. Alright guys, so today's the day we're going to laminate the two pieces of plywood together. This is exterior plywood. Don't use pressure treated plywood because of the aluminum, reaction with the aluminum. It's fine as long as you seal it with epoxy resin. We're going to put these together with Tight Bond Ultimate 3. The reason being Tight Bond is a really good glue, but the Ultimate 3 has a longer working time to give me the time to put the brass nails in it and to clamp it. So let's get busy. Okay guys, we've got it nailed together with brass nails, tight bond, three ultimate wood glue. It's waterproof, got a longer work time. I've got Irwin quick grips on this thing. Probably don't need all these clamps because of the nails, the brass nails I've got in it. Probably we need to set up a couple hours, but we're gonna let it set up another day. Okay guys, I don't know what day this is on this repair. Like I said, I'm doing a little bit of day in the evenings not on the weekends because I'm fishing. I've got the three quarter and quarter piece of plywood glued together to give me my inch thickness. Um, so that's glued together good. Now we're gonna put 
this back on here just temporarily with this above it with a piece of wood I'm gonna clamp it in place and I'm gonna pre-drill my hole so I've got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten I think I got 12 holes to line up that's gonna be tedious I'm not gonna show you all of that um, cause that's just too tedious I may show you a few of it but I've got to get this board on there line the holes up make sure everything's right and then they're quarter inch bolts stainless steel bolts holding all this on I'm gonna drill the holes in the wood 516 to give room for the epoxy to go in there uh, the 5200 sealant so anyway let's get busy on it okay now guys now I'm gonna make sure that I've got the same distance so the wood doesn't go all the way to the edge I'm just gonna use my finger you don't have to be perfect that's about right and I've got to line this plate up too right here okay guys this one is real so I'm going to put a bolt through here just to keep that in the same spot then I'm going to try to drill this one Alright, good afternoon everyone. We're getting into short rows. I've got the piece of wood done. I've got it sanded. I've got the holes drilled. The next thing we've got to do is epoxy it with fiberglass resin epoxy. Alright guys, I'm going to use this Bondo fiberglass resin. It comes with this top on it. And under the top is the hardener. If you use a quarter of the can, use a quarter of that um, little vial of hardener sometimes more it's not worse but we're going to pour not a lot in here less than half full but you can buy more of these at auto parts stores whatever and then go to the other side I'll get half or three quarters of this done and then I'll put it in his vise to let it dry so it, it holds it um, the dry end and then I'll flip it over the next day and do the other end and just repeat. I'll make sure I get two good coats on the whole transom. All right, everyone, we're getting on a short rows. I've got the two pieces of plywood, the three quarter and the quarter inch laminated together. I've got it sealed with two coats of epoxy resin. You probably can't, obviously, obviously you can't see as good as I do, but it's got a slick, hard finish. I'm gonna sand it just a little bit, get some scratches all in it, um, but not go deep, just so the paint will stick to it. I'm gonna paint it hunter green do two coats of hunter green and then we're going to install it on the transom uh, putting stainless steel bolts with 5200 3m 5200 sealant um, that's what i used last time so let's get busy on it all right guys i'm hanging it from my chin up bar also hang deer off of this too uh, but anyway let's get busy make sure i've already shaken this make sure it's shaking up good i'm gonna spray about half or three quarters let it dry do it again and I'm gonna put this rope through the hole on the other end, flip it over and do the other end and we'll be set. Then we'll mount it to the boat.
right guys, we got the first coat on this side. We're gonna let it dry. I don't know, 15, 30 minutes, put another coat on, flip it around, repeat, and finish up. All right, got this half or two thirds painted. We'll paint the bottom two thirds, two coats. Get the edges good. Let that dry and we'll do one more coat. All right, good morning everyone. This is gonna be the last day of this transom repair. Here's the original transom that I put in years ago. And I don't remember if I sealed it with epoxy, but this is the new one. Three quarter inch plywood, laminated to a quarter inch plywood, two coats of epoxy, um, epoxy resin, then two coats of spray paint. So anyway, we're gonna put this in today. Hopefully it's not gonna to take too long. I'm gonna speed up a lot of it on you. So this is, this part ain't gonna be quick. So anyway, this is gonna go like this. This plate's gonna go under it. Then this back plate goes on the back. You see, I've got saved it, put all the screws back in it so I know exactly what screws went where. And then this plate goes in the front. So anyway, let's get busy. The main thing you're gonna need on this today is obviously your, your power screwdriver and the hardware, but this is the main thing you're gonna need is this 3M 3200 to seal all these holes. Especially these holes down here at the bottom. I've got one, two, three, four, five holes at the bottom. But the 3M 5200 is the main thing you're gonna to need today. I'll put a link to everything in the description. You can get it at your local hardware store too, um, but it helps the channel if you get it in the description. Uh, but anyway, guys, let's get busy and let's get this thing going so I can take it out next week. You got, do have to let these uh, 5200, I think, dry for about a week. So that's fine. Today's Sunday. I'm gonna put it in the day and the earliest I'm gonna use this thing is next Saturday or Sunday. So we'll be good. Hey guys, when you're using this 5200, keep an old wet rag with you. Get that stuff off your hands and off your camera if you're using a camera. I'm gonna put these two screws in here to hold it up. All right, guys, I got everything lined up good. Every, this little bracket here, this little bracket here, the shelf that kind of holds the, I don't know why they even need it if it's really not holding it up. The bolts are holding it up, but this little shelf right here, they're done. The handles on the outside go through here. Um, that's all tight, seal with 5200. The only thing left to do is put this on. We're gonna coat crap out of this with 5200 and tighten it up and then we'll have to let it dry a week all right i got them all on here Right, guys that's everyone i've got to tighten down with the drill driver i'm gonna go by and just tighten them up a little bit with these wrench right this wrench right here okay guys it's all done i did go back and took a rag and i wiped it just like you would be caulking a bathtub and smoothed it out around the edges i wiped all the excess up around the the washers and bolts and nuts on the inside too when it's all dry i'm gonna paint it so this is gonna be painted that's gonna be painted um so anyway this isn't gonna be painted though right here on this aluminum but everything else is gonna be painted 
not gonna look perfect but it's a fishing john boat not one for shows but that's um how it is this is gonna take a good seven days to dry good okay everyone got her all done she's ready to hit the water what i did once i got everything bolted down good and tight and everything had to let it set up a week to dry then i got to looking at it i needed to paint it i ended up painting the back end again i cleaned up the some of the epoxy excess painted the inside and the outside let's show you that so i went back and painted the floor painted here this was already painted you know in the video i painted the back end of the boat I think she came out really good guys do me a favor hit the subscribe button check out my boat canoe and boat playlist right there and i'll see you next time thanks for watching